So, um, I have friends that, a lot, I know several people that suffer mental illness. Um, I'm not going to name names, but what, what usually what we do is that when somebody is having trouble with it, we just say, that person's going crazy. So we separate the, the sick individual from the one that's accommodating to a relationship. Um, but you got to have some kind of warning sign if somebody's chemicals are off and they're acting bizarrely. Or, or <laughs> I, I was at Kroger and this guy brings a suitcase in and he opens it up and it's full of seltzer and fun dip. I had to go over and say hi. I was like, hi. <laughs> and I said, I like fun dip. That's bizarre behavior, but whatever his, you know, he's not violent, so it, it doesn't seem to be making too much of a wave. You can be as crazy as you want, really. Um, but yeah, you do need to know techniques and, and what to look for in signs. Um, you know, you, you can't run away from mental health. It'll meet you, if it's not your own mind, it'll be someone else. So it's really good to understand uh, the techniques and the tools you need to protect yourself. I won't say who, but there's members of my family that get really angry with me when I get manic and my medicine's wrong. And, and you're talking to a responsible mom and grandma that's going to her doctor, taking her medicine, and it's not working. But for some people get wrapped up in, a, in, in kind of a crazy behavior and they are not able to be supportive and get you help, first off, because they say, ooh, you can't, you can't act that way around me. Um, and then, of course, I've had a very avant-garde life because of all the experiences I have. I may talk a little differently than other people. I may, you know, there, there's a guy going, fuck you, fuck you. And, and, you know, you're not allowed to say that in the house. And, and I grew up in a house where you couldn't say but. But when you've been in and out of hospital, psychiatric, and you met all these people, it, my study is, is that it's an honest form of expression. It means you're real. Um, but people, I think if you, if they have a pretend kind of fake world and, and you see through it and you, like, I went to my mom's and she almost hit me because her dog just doesn't behave. It barks and licks you and doesn't come when it's called. She got so mad at me. She, she like, I did that when Kent died because she was never supportive of that. Um, but I'd gone to, to go see his sister and talk about it. Um. But um, I think control, I think we all have control issues sometimes. Uh, so metaphysically speaking, we, we don't have that much control, really. We, we hope for the best, and we keep progressively making better decisions that bring us more audience for me or more money in some cases. Um, I like to get down to the nitty-gritty and tell the truth. But people don't want to hear it, you know? And then they'll say, you're crazy and get away from me. And I think that's what it is, is people... I know Georgia, she gets... She'll say, fuck you. If you tell her the truth, she's like, fuck you. That's not my truth. That's not the life I want to live. And while it's true to you, she doesn't accept it. But yeah, no, like, we definitely need techniques in how to handle people in different psychological conditions um, for safety, for our public schools, for our hospitals, and for our families and friends. Thank you.